A grandmother and grandfather are sharing their heartbreak with only First Coast News tonight after losing their firstborn grandchild in a crash this morning. It happened on Wilson Boulevard at 295 when a pickup truck driving in the wrong direction hit the other car head on. On your side, Cessna McKeever has the story. Say, Grandma, I love you. I see you. I love you too. Not knowing that was my last time seeing my granddaughter. Joanne Mitchell is feeling empty. Her granddaughter, Jasmine Mitchell, was headed home this morning after dropping her off at home. She had no idea that would be their last conversation. Well, I called her earlier that afternoon and um, she responded to my message. I said, Jazz, I said, I get off of work at 1130. I said, can you pick me up? I said, now, if it's a problem, let me know. She said, Grandma, you know I got you girls. That's how she always talked to me. Jazzy and her friend were headed home when police say a white pickup truck traveling east in the westbound lanes of Wilson Boulevard hit Jasmine's gray sedan. Jasmine and her friend did not survive the crash. My granddaughter left two beautiful kids. Her oldest kid is 10 years old. Her baby is three. Right now, the crash is being investigated and police say they are working to learn if impairment could have been a factor. Jasmine's grandparents say their lives are forever changed. I am in pain because I was the last one besides her sister and her cousin to see her alive. I done lost my granddaughter. Destiny McKeever, First Coast News, on your side. Mm.